The New York Rangers lose a close 4-3 game to the Florida Panthers here, and this was a pretty close loss to the Rangers. I mean, a pretty back-and-forth game for the most part, and a very fun, entertaining game to watch. A lot of physicality, some good saves, some good scoring chances, some good goals. Pretty much everything you want to see in a hockey game was in this one, so it was fun to watch even though the Rangers did lose. But still, it was against a very good team. The Florida Panthers are a great team. They're playing at home. You know, it is all right to lose against them. Not too bad. But Borowski had a great game in net for them, stopping 31 out of 34 shots. He made a ton of great saves. And same on the other side of things here, Jonathan Quick, although he did only stop 28 out of 32 shots, you know, having an 875 save percentage might not look the best. He still made a ton of great saves. So I definitely wouldn't blame this loss on him. He really kept the range in this one and you know, made things a little closer than it might have been if he wasn't playing as well as he did. Either way, though, the Rangers come up short here, but it was a pretty fun game to watch, like I said, and it was a loss against a very good team, the Florida Panthers, who the Rangers potentially could see at some point in the playoffs as well. And early on in the first period, Jonathan Quick makes a few great saves. He keeps this game pretty close early on, making a bunch of great stops, and the Rangers kind of get off to a bit of a slow start. But then we see with about a minute 15 left in the first period, Evan Rodriguez, he gets the puck, walks in the left side, and beats Jonathan Quick short side to make things 1-0 also assisted by Alexander Barkov and Nico Mikola, a former New York Ranger, obviously came over with Vladimir Tarasenko in the deal from the Blues. So, you know, pretty solid player there, but unfortunately does help the Panthers get a 1-0 lead in the first period. Then we see in the second period, the Rangers get a few decent chances early in the second, but can't find the back of the net, but Borowski was making some great saves. Then we see, though, a little later on, Barkov from behind the net. He comes around and just makes a great pass out to Sam Reinhardt, who buries it to make things 2-0, also assisted by Carter Verhage. And then we see, though, later on, the Rangers finally get on the board here with a great keep-in by Ryan Lindgren on the blue line. He then passes over to Lafreniere, who makes a great pass back across to Artemi Panarin, who buries it to make things 2-1 Panthers. So the Rangers cut the lead to 1 and it was a great pass by Lafreniere over to Panarin and a great goal by him, but a great play by Ryan Lindgren to keep that puck in. If he doesn't make that great play there, this goal does not happen. So a great play by him to keep that puck in, make a nice pass over to Lafreniere, who then pass over to Panarin and he buries it. Then we see a little later on though, Panthers turn it over with Keandre Miller, puts some pressure on. Keandre gets the puck in the neutral zone. He skates in, makes a great pass over to the rookie. Will Cooley, who snipes one and pass Bobrovsky to tie things up at two. A great goal here by Cooley, but another great play by New York Rangers D-man. Obviously, on the previous goal, Ryan Lindgren kept the puck in to help make that goal happen. And on this one, we see Keandre Miller make a great play, putting some pressure on, causing a turnover, getting the puck. Obviously, skates down, then makes a great pass over to Will Cooley, who snipes one pass to Bobrovsky to obviously tie things up here at two. And we did see, unfortunately, Nick Cousins did crash into Bobrovsky, but he ended up being all right. Then we see, though, a little later on, Schneider. He gets two minutes for interference, and then on that power play for the Panthers, Kachuk makes a pass over to Barkov at the point. He shoots, and of course, Sam Reinhardt tips it in for his second goal of the game to make things 3-2 Panthers. Then we see the going on into the third period with eight minutes and 37 seconds left in the third period. We see Lafreniere. He gets a two-minute penalty for a check to the head on Barkov, and it was not intentional. The puck was kind of bouncing in the air, and Lafreniere has to go to you know grab and kind of hit it and ends up kind of knocking Barkov in the head. Barkov did end up coming back later on in the game, so that was good there, but it was not intentional. They did review it, but ended up coming back down to a two-minute penalty, so that was kind of nice to see. Then, though, on that penalty, the Rangers ended up tying things up here as Kreider on the rush gives a great pass over to Mika Zibanejad, who buries the one tee to tie things up at three. A great play by Kreider, making a nice pass over to Zib, and Zib buries it to tie things up here. A great goal by the Rangers, shorthanded, obviously making some things happen while they're on the penalty kill, which is always nice to see. And then later on, though, unfortunately, not too long after this goal as well, we see Forsling. He shoots from the point, and his shot ends up breaking Goudreau's stick blade. And then we see Verhage. He gets the puck, and he ends up just burying it to make things 4-3 for the Panthers late in the third period. So an unfortunate one there for the Rangers getting the loss in this one. 
It definitely was not their best performance of the season so far, that's for sure, but they still did play against a very good Florida Panthers team who are one of the top teams in the entire Eastern Conference. They obviously had a great playoff run last season, so definitely not a bad team by any means, so losing to them at home is not really a big deal. And the Rangers are still one of the top teams in the entire NHL, so it's not like the Rangers are a bad team, for example. There's no reason to panic. They're still a great team. This was just a good hockey game. The Rangers losing in a close one, obviously an unfortunate loss, but it was a loss, and it wasn't too bad of a game. Jonathan Quick still made some fantastic saves, although he did let in four goals on 32 shots, which... Yeah, the numbers don't look great, but he still played very good net. We saw Keandre Miller. He played great offensively, created a good chance there. Defensively, did have some struggles here and there, but overall didn't play too terribly. Ryan Lindgren also got in on some offense here, getting an assist, creating a goal, and being a big part of that goal as well. And we also got to see Cooley, Panarin, and Zibanejad all got a goal each. And then we did also see Lafreniere and Kreider get an assist each. So a lot of guys had some production in this one. Had an impact, played pretty good, but unfortunately, Rangers do come up short here in a 4 3 loss. In you know, the last goal, it, it was just pretty unfortunate there. Gaudreau stick breaking. If the stick doesn't break there on that shot that it blocked, then this game is, might be a little different. You never know, right? You never know. Things can happen different. That's what happens in hockey, though. It's these balances that happen, and sometimes that is what decides a game. But either way, a close loss here for the Rangers, and it was not too bad at all. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed, please smash the like button. Don't forget to comment down below your guys' thoughts on this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.